Cattle selection is vitally important in everything we do in the cattle industry. We need to be able to determine which cattle to send to market. At particular times we need to be able to select our breeding stock as well. Today I'm going to talk to you about a few pointers to look for when selecting prime beef and lead steers. First thing we see when we walk into a pen or walk into a show ring is the fact that we look at their heads and uh, we can tell a lot from the maturity pattern of our steers and an early maturing steer is going to be one that will not give us the, the dollar value at the other end in terms of weight gain. A late maturing steer is going to give us plenty of growth but will he finish at the other end? So where do we look for fat and where do we look for muscle? I tend to then go directly to the back end of the animal. We look for that width through that stifle region. Uh, we look for that back line and uh, if he's got a top line that doesn't pinch in behind the shoulders, we know that we've got a body of muscle in that animal that we really can work with. The most important part on top of all of that is to be able to finish that, that muscle with some cover of fat. If we don't have fat coverage at the other end, we won't meet market specifications, which is vitally important for our industry. So where do we look for fat? Around the tail head, each side, we can have fat that starts to develop there. If we go lower, we look into the cod of the animal and we can see that fat starting to deposit there. We move to the side of the animal, we can see a flank that uh, if full, we know that there's fat deposited in that area. And then we move to the front of the animal and we can see a brisket that has some fullness about it, we know that there's fat there. The seed stock selection is totally different to uh, things that we look for when we're looking at uh, prime cattle that are ready to send and lead steers that are ready to be sent to process the next day. So when it comes to selecting our seed stock, we need to look at fertility first and foremost. Fertility fits hand in hand with structure, so feet and legs and feet placement, the way, way the cattle walk is vitally important to uh, make sure that uh, we have stock that have some longevity in the herd and produce cattle every year. Uh, bulls when they mate, cows when they're holding bulls certainly have to have strong back legs and uh, they need to be able to do that structurally. So fertility and structure, structure once again go hand in hand. Once again, first thing we see when we come into the show ring is the head. Uh, we can look at maturity patterns but what we're looking for in this case is that our bulls are masculine so they have to look like a bull. Our females are definitely feminine so they need to look like a female. In terms of looking at the rest of the body we want females with big roomy volumey back ends. We want females with angularity and refinement through the front. Put in contrast and, and uh, when looking at bulls we need to take the other, other stream which is basically looking at parallel lines. We get across the top of them and look at them from the back. Once again we need some thickness through that stifle. We look at the top line and we want it so that uh, they, they would basically have parallel lines across their back. If we look at them from the side we don't want them to be deeper in the back end and, and more shallow in the front. We want them to be as deep in the front as they are in the back, indicating a great deal of masculinity and certainly meat content and muscle content that those bulls would carry. In terms of fertility, we also want a, a great set of testicles. So if we're looking at something like two beer cans in a stocking, 36 centimetres, and we're set to go at 18 months. I'm very passionate about uh, judging beef cattle and certainly about educating and introducing young people to the beef industry.